have arrived at Southern Hills. Our first stop was finding gold, which we didn't find much, but eh. So in this clip, we're watching a guy make a gold bar. And in the next clip, he proceeded to pretend that the bar burned his hand. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Children present. How dare you, sir? How dare you? There is no place in the Ballarat for women such as that who shamelessly flaunt their ways in front of our young and impressionable. That woman is an absolute disgrace. I was raised a gentleman. Never in my wildest dreams would I strike a lady. My God. Fortune, however, this harlot is no lady! Oh, hey. Your hands off me! You this is not now. the last you've heard of this, Montez. Just you wait till tomorrow's newspaper. It seems that I, Lola Montez, Countess of Lansfield, am triumphant today. Huzzah! You. Though I must say, all those who would dare oppose me, best beware! Come to the Victorian Theatre tonight, for I will be performing my spider dance. Huzzah! <laughs> yeah, Mrs. Lola Montez will be performing her spider dance at 6.45, 9 and 12. And our children, make sure you tell your fathers. They'll <laughs> like this one. <laughs> have a day out without our parents and we are having lunch at Betty's Burger and in this you can see a group of people dancing to the song Me by CLC, a K-pop girl group and oh, they're all dropped. So we went to the National Gallery of Victoria and it's really nice there. The exhibitions were aesthetically pleasing and after that we went to a cafe called Hash and we drank hot chocolate. It was very, very thick. <music> going round and rounds because they didn't allow us to bump each other and it's only one way which is weird because it's a bumper car. <music> After dinner me and Mr. parted ways and Mr. went to watch Toy Story 4 in the most comfortable cinema chair ever. While well, I went to go ice skate cause, well, I wanted to. Guys, 
guys, please be considerate. Don't push down your chair. Hey guys, Emilia here. So I know this is my sister's voiceover, but I really had to say this story time. So the reason why my sister was saying this, like, be considerate and don't push down your chair kind of thing, was because the people sitting in front of us pushed down their chairs so bad that there was literally very little space left for us. The amount of space you see in the clips was only the start, and they proceeded to push back further. The air stewardess had to ask them to push up when our food came. However, not long after, they pushed back down again while we were eating. And I remember the chair hitting my head. And yes, it was very painful. (laughs) 